Now, coming to the next technique is evaporation. Evaporation is a technique wherein you are separating, okay, the technique of separating, okay, the technique of separating a soluble solid from the liquid by heating the liquid wherein the liquid will turn into its vapor okay so basically the difference between evaporation and boiling is in both the cases, in evaporation, you are converting a liquid to its vapor state by heating at a temperature much lower than the boiling point. Whereas in boiling, you are converting a liquid to its vapor state by heating it up to its boiling point. For example, in evaporation, water can evaporate at any temperature below 100 degrees. That is, water can change into its vapor state. When water changes into its vapor state below 100 degrees, it's called evaporation. But when water changes to vapor state, at 100 degrees, it's called boiling. So in evaporation, we don't boil the liquid, but we evaporate the liquid, okay? So in evaporation, okay, uh, basically evaporation is used to separate soluble solids from their liquids. Now examples, examples of uh, mixtures which can be separated by this technique, okay, would be one is salt and water. sugar and water okay then you have copper sulfate and water okay then basically copper sulfate from water when you are separating it is more precisely known as crystallization okay then now how do we carry out this process of evaporation in the laboratory the evap we carry out this by taking the mixture in an evaporating dish an evaporating dish children is a shallow dish okay see why are we taking a dish which is shallow and not very deep the reason for this is children evaporation is basically a surface phenomena that is it occurs on the surface of the liquid so greater the uh, exposure of the liquid okay faster will be the rate of evaporation so we don't take deep vessels but we take shallow dishes like the evaporating dish and this evaporating dish is made up of porcelain so we take this mixture of salt and water or any mixture of a soluble salt solid in a liquid in the evaporating dish okay and we evap we start heating it using the bunsen burner we place the evaporating dish containing the mixture on the tripod stand this is your tripod stand and we start heating it okay when you heat it the water okay if suppose i have taken salt in water okay the water will start changing into its vapor state and it will be lost to the atmosphere and what remains as a residue after the process of evaporation in your evaporating dish is the residue that is your solid so if you take a mixture as we have discussed salt and water okay water is converted to vapor and is and is lost okay you cannot retain the liquid component here and the solid remains in the evaporating dish as the residue 
Is this clear? So this is the process of evaporation.